After a terrible accident at the factory, the workers were hurt badly. They went to their boss, asking for fairness because he wouldn't admit fault. Things got out of hand and turned violent. The police showed up, and one worker, Mikul, attacked an officer. He got arrested, and a video of it spread online. Sorry for the small pause. It took a lot of hard work to find the movies, make the script, and edit them. Little request, please show your support. Mikul's daughter, Selma, got upset and did something mean to a classmate. Her mum, Elise, struggled to handle Selma's behaviour ever since her parents split, and Mikul went to jail, though he's out now with a monitoring device. One night at Michael's place, Selma saw news about deadly acid rain in Latin America, caused by pollution. It worried them because scientists said it might reach where they live. The next day, heavy rain started falling, and Elise forgot to close Selma's window, leading to a small mess. Michael noticed strange things about the wet ground. Elise called him to fetch Selma early from school due to rain concerns. They headed there, but traffic blocked their way as everyone had the same idea. Dark clouds loom over the forest as Mikkel races to find his daughter. Meanwhile, Selma struggles on horseback, falling behind her classmates. Rain starts, burning the ground and frightening the horses. Mikkel and Elise reach the forest, but can't drive through, so Mikkel searches on foot. Selma runs and reunites with her dad near the stables. They seek shelter just in time as rain seeps through the roof, burning the ground. Mikkel calls Elise for help. She arrives, navigating through heavy rain. They hear screams from the acid rain's victims. Blocked by traffic again, they're forced to push through, encountering desperate people. Selma panics, seeing the ceiling paint change. When the rain stops, they find devastation. At a supermarket, they grab clothes and blankets for protection. Elise's brother can't help due to blocked roads. Michael tries calling his girlfriend with no luck. They decide to flee the country like many others. As night falls, the car breaks down due to acid damage and the back door won't open. Michael kicks it open cautiously. They find shelter in an abandoned building, surprisingly set up for a party. A cat raids the food, but they worry about acid on its fur. Michael contacts his girlfriend briefly before losing signal. They test tap water on the cat, but Selma objects, emptying it. They find some bottled water and fashion makeshift protection for their feet. The tap water proves unsafe, so they dine on alcohol and party food. Selma worries about survival, sparking a heated argument between her parents. Mikkel storms off, leaving tension. Rain leaks through the ceiling, disturbing their sleep. Selma finds the cat dead, seeking solace with her mom. Next morning, they join others leaving the country on foot. A crowd gathers at a blocked bridge, police allowing few through at a time. Elise is separated from her family and pushed across the bridge, discovering a dangerous hole. As tensions rise, tear gas is fired and the bridge collapses, causing chaos and casualties as people pushed across. Elise tries to reach her family in the crowd, but gets stuck amidst the pushing bodies, causing the railing to break. Some people, including Elise, fall into the water, and her skin starts burning from the acid. Selma notices and rushes off the bridge to help, but Michal stops her just in time. They sadly watch as Elise's body drifts away. With the bridge unusable, the police take the crowd to a military base. Michael contacts his girlfriend. They're split into military trucks and share water during the journey. The trucks stop due to blocked roads, forcing everyone to walk, guided by red smoke signals. As dark clouds approach, they run, but Selma struggles and keeps falling. Mikkel helps her, but they lose the crowd. They find a tunnel and hide before the storm hits, but rain seeps in, melting the dirt. Michael slips, injuring himself with acid humidity. They exit the tunnel, Mikkel's phone dead. Exhausted, they find houses but get no response. Michael collapses, and Selma cries out for help. When Michael wakes up, he finds himself in Deborah's house with her son. Deborah shares water and clothes, but keeps food for herself and her son. Selma discovers a room with acid stains and a machine for dialysis, which Michael helps move downstairs to protect the boy. Grateful, Deborah shares some food and lets them stay the night. Michael tries to enter the neighbor's house, but returns due to approaching dark clouds. As the storm intensifies, Deborah realizes the house won't withstand it. Michael opts to sleep in the garage for safety. Deborah secretly locks their door and comforts her son. The house begins to deteriorate, with taps melting and paint resembling blood. Toxic smoke emerges from the heater. 
Michael and Selma try to check on Deborah and her son, finding the door locked. As the house collapses, Michael forces Selma into Deborah's car and drives away into the darkness. The car systems fail, but Michael manages to restart it and continues driving aimlessly. After hours of driving without rain, Michael stops the car in a vast open field. Selma accuses him of being lost, and he snaps at her before stepping out. Michael's leg starts burning, and he rushes back to find Selma missing. She tries to flee, but struggles with the burning ground, ending up on a sinking structure. Hearing her scream, Michael drives towards her, but the car sinks in the mud, forcing him to continue on foot. He reaches Selma in time, carrying her despite his severely burnt legs. They return to the car and climb on top, where Mikkel faints. The next morning, Selma hears a truck and discovers the military has come to rescue them. They're taken to safety, and Mikkel receives medical treatment. Selma asks about her uncle but finds no trace of him. Sadly, they learn Michael's girlfriend has passed away. When Selma sees her dad, she offers comfort and decides to withhold the tragic news for now. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video.